channel. If you're curious on how to do overlays like this, you're not gonna wanna miss this. And I got a tip at the very end to make this a process a whole lot easier on how to match up everything in your timeline to make this a very simple process. So let's get into it. All right, so once you get to the site here, I'm gonna leave the links down below for both Mac and uh, Windows versions. Click the download button, it'll download. And then once you install it on your computer, it's gonna give you an icon, Garmin Verb Edit. Once you click on that, it's gonna bring you into this mode right here. I already have my GoPro SD card taken out and I put it into my computer. So we're gonna go up to Import Clips and Photo, Import Other. You're gonna find your clips here. Mine are located here in my GoPro file. You're gonna click on those. Here's one, I'll just do one as an example. Bring that in. Import only. Now if you do import only, once you take your SD card out, you won't be able to access those in this app. And I'm gonna click optimize later because I'm gonna use Final Cut Pro to do all my editing. So now we're gonna go create video. YouTube video test. And then click create video. And now here we have our new clip. We're gonna just sit here and drag this down into the timeline. And you have an option right here, it's gonna pop up if you wanna optimize the clips now or later. And then apparently it didn't let me optimize it. I don't normally don't optimize it. I'm just gonna click optimize later. Now if you wanna stretch this clip out, you're gonna take this part right here and says zoom and just take this dot and just drag it and slide it. Let's go to the Element Bolt app right now. All right, so once you open up your Element app on your phone, you're gonna click on History. You're gonna pick the latest ride that you want to display your data. Click on that map. Here's all your data. You're gonna come up here to the top where these three little dots, you're gonna click on that and click on Upload Workout. And then right here where it says Share File To, you're gonna click on that. And then I always just email it to myself. That's the easiest way right here type in the same email that you have and send it to yourself so now that you've got your file downloaded on your computer you're going to go into g metrics and then click on data import g metrics and i'm going to click on on my computer and then click browse i have mine on my desktop right here it's the fit file you're going to click on that and then click open here it is It'll have all these by default checked. Just leave them checked. Click on use this log and it's gonna bring this file into your computer and into the Garmin VRB edit software. And you're gonna see that the data is already in there. And you're gonna be able to go through and click on all these different uh, metrics and put them in. You're gonna go on gauges. You're gonna be able to choose different gauges, search for different gauges distance right here it'll bring that up uh, where's the speed recorded speed and of course you're gonna be able to choose from a bunch of different gauges and all you're gonna do is drag and drop it down into your timeline I'm sorry you dra drag and drop it over to here into your timeline it's gonna put it there or you click delete if you didn't want that so if you don't want these you can click delete on all this stuff just to start from scratch I would click on the Garmin logo get rid of that here's the map up here delete that and all you do is click and drag and drop and put them in there and that's it all right and for your final tip and this has to be the first thing you do before you set out on your ride make sure you have your Wahoo element bolt turned on and your GoPro turned on and just simply start these two devices at the exact same time. I hope this helped you, I hope this was simple. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video, bye-bye.